Does it seem like a certain someone is constantly on your mind? Maybe you cannot stop thinking about him and it's driving you crazy. If you're looking for answers about what it means when someone is heavily on your mind or what you can do about it, I feel you. As a self-proclaimed overthinker, I am prone to compulsive thoughts, and nothing triggers this in me quite like love and romance. Whether I like it or not, I can easily find myself lost in a maze of thinking about someone. Sometimes so much so that I can't sleep, eat or concentrate on other things. But after years of trying to keep my mind in check, I've also done a lot of research to understand some of the causes and triggers of this. And importantly, I've also found some really useful tools to take charge of my thoughts rather than be at mercy of them. In this video, I'll cover potential reasons why someone keeps coming to mind. Number one, they create a strong emotional response in you. Whether it's love, a crush, or infatuation, or maybe it's the opposite end of the spectrum and you are feeling hurt, anger, and sadness towards someone. One thing is for sure, we human beings are instinctively emotional-driven creatures. Our thoughts and feelings are closely linked. Anything that generates a strong emotional trigger in you is likely to occupy your thinking. The same also goes for the other way around too. The more you think about something, it is going to impact the way you feel about it too. We tend not to spend much time pondering things we don't really care about. That means there's a good chance this person is on your mind because you do care in some way about them in some way, shape or form. Number two, you're attracted to them. Biology is powerful. It knows what it's doing and is prepared to pump a powerful cocktail of hormones into you to make it happen. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. This idea of being lovesick is a familiar notion to us, but it's perhaps less about love and more about the chemical reactions happening in your body when you're feeling attraction. I know, that doesn't sound quite as romantic. Butterflies in the stomach, sweaty palms, and constantly thinking about someone are common side effects from a release of brain chemicals like dopamine, oxytocin, adrenaline, and vasopressin. A strong attraction to someone is going to mean that they are on your mind. Blame mother nature. Number three, what would a gifted advisor say? The signs above and below in this video will give you a good idea of what it means when someone keeps coming to mind. Even so, it can be very worthwhile to speak to a highly intuitive person and get guidance from them. They can answer all sorts of relationship questions and take away your doubts and worries. Like, are they really your soulmate? Are you meant to be with them if they keep coming to mind? I recently spoke to someone from Psychic Source after going through a rough patch in my relationship. After being lost in my thoughts for so long, they gave me a unique insight into where my life was going, including who I was meant to be with. I was actually blown away by how kind, compassionate, and knowledgeable they were. Get your own love reading by clicking on the link that I've shared in the description below. In this love reading, a gifted advisor can tell you what it means when someone keeps coming to mind and most importantly, empower you to make the right decisions when it comes to love. Number four, your brain is trying to problem solve. There's a difference between rumination and mental problem solving, but sometimes the two can look quite similar. Often we need to think things through so that we can process how we feel and figure things out. Whenever something happens, it's natural for the brain to try and understand what is going on. If he didn't text you when you thought he would, he suddenly went cold, he's giving you some mixed signal or a million and one potential things. Your mind might slip into overthinking. The difficulty is when you can't come to a conclusion or get an answer. Repetitive thoughts start to occur. Your brain cannot crack the code or find a solution, so it just goes around and around in an endless loop. It's no wonder all that mental energy spent is exhausting and can create anxiety. This is what we'd call rumination, and falls more into the category of dwelling on things that we cannot change or control. Number five, you're romanticizing. Do perfect rom-com style scenarios play out in your brain? Can you picture him down on one knee or envisage you two kissing in the rain? Do you find yourself drifting off into visualizations about your future life together? The dog you'll buy, the home you'll live in and the trips you'll take together? It sounds like you could have a common case of overly romanticizing this person. Of course, you might fall in love and be at the stage in your relationship where this isn't just a fairy tale, but this also commonly happens during the beginning of, or even before, a romance too. Nothing has been tainted yet with the stark light reality, so we're tempted to drift off into the soft glow of fantasy when we think about them. It's natural, and most of us project onto a potential or new partner in some way or another. 
We're all guilty of wearing rose-tinted glasses occasionally, but it becomes more problematic whenever it's taking over or is going to lead to an unrealistic expectations further down the line. Life has a way of not quite living up to the power of your imagination. Number six, you're escaping. Distraction is addictive. Anyone who has ever found themselves endlessly scrolling their social media feed when they really should be focusing on their tax return will tell you that. The brain is hardwired to avoid discomfort and seek pleasure. When we are rewarded with a good feeling by any type of behavior we start to form, what's known as a compulsion loop. We repeat the behavior so we can be rewarded with another little neurochemical hit of dopamine. So if thinking of someone creates a good feeling, it's easy to see how we want to keep repeating that especially when the alternative is something somewhat more mundane. It's a similar situation when daydreaming. As many as 96% of adults will engage in at least one episode of daydreaming a day. Daydreaming can be characterized as thinking for pleasure. And even though daydreaming may have been given a bad rep over the years, recent research has found that it does bring health benefits, including increased well-being or improved pain tolerance. So now you have probably got some possible reasons why someone keeps coming to mind. But if you really want to find out what it means when someone keeps coming to mind, don't leave it up to chance. Instead, speak to a real, certified advisor who will give you the answers you're searching for. I mentioned Psychic Source earlier. It's one of the oldest professional services available online offering this type of guidance. Their advisors are well seasoned in healing and helping people. When I got a love reading from them, I was surprised at how knowledgeable and understanding they were. They helped me out when I needed it most, and that's why I always recommend their services to anyone facing doubts regarding love. Get your own professional reading in the description below.